It's leg day. Jeez, it is humid today. I've been drenched in sweat. It technically took a shower though, right? <laughs> now I gotta get my energy to go get some energy and feel this body. We gotta go eat. You know what I want? I want nuff nuff. I want my chicken breast Greek plate that I haven't had in forever. I miss wheeling. <laughs> Not really, I just miss all the restaurants and convenience of food right by me. I couldn't have enough enough, but I can have chipotle. Oh, 
I wanted to make sure my bowl was gonna be big. I was like, extra rice. <laughs> it was leg day. We're back from the store. We just had to pick up a couple things that we needed since we were out of the house and we hate getting out of the house. But there are two things I want to talk about and address because it just seems like people are being crazy. Uh, the first thing, an easier thing to talk about, this whole idea that uh, soreness is a bad thing is starting to um, surface. People are saying how being sore is not good. What? A hundred percent of people who work out will feel soreness. The point of feeling sore is that your muscles are getting stronger and you've engaged them. If you are never sore, especially as a beginner, you did something very wrong. So take this idea of being sore that it's a negative thing way out of your mind because it is a very positive thing. In order to grow and advance in your fitness journey, you must push your limits to the point of soreness. What happens during a workout, an aggressive workout, is your muscles are breaking fiber, then they take the time to recover and get stronger. So you constantly keep getting stronger. Um, also, you need muscle in order to burn fat. So, I mean, I, it's, I find it incredible that people run out of content so they just start saying crazy things like hey don't push so hard so you might not get sore what they're saying is take forever to reach your goals if ever because you don't want to get sore that is crazy like I get mad when I don't get sore when I put in a really good workout and then the next day I'm like I'm not sore why am I not sore it gets me upset because I know soreness is a good thing it's positive and now the second thing I wanted to talk about I was I'm very passionate about this I got really mad at this guy I probably ripped him to pieces I was maybe a little bit of a biatch but this hits me hard um, a progress photo I posted on my Instagram I'll post on this video he goes and comments, what, did you get injured? This should only take four months. He goes on to say how he can get a girl to that kind of, to seeing that kind of progress in as little as four months. So I tell him, dude, it's 22 pounds of pure muscle. I've, I've bulked, I've cut, I've bulked, I've cut to create this uh, defined lean uh, physique. So how are you gonna say 22 pounds of muscle can be achieved in four months? Even for a guy, this is very difficult. And on top of it, if you wanna do it, you may need drugs, and I don't even think drugs can get you there that quickly. So like, I totally told him, dude, if you're a trainer and you're promoting yourself, which is what he was trying to do, and you don't know the very first thing about fitness and how much muscle a person can build, and the more muscle, say, the more muscle you build in a short amount of time means you have more fat. So you've built, you've um, gained more access fat in order to build muscle that fast. But regardless, it's like impossible for a girl to build 22 pounds of pure muscle, no fat, in four months. It got me mad because I know he was promoting himself. And I mean, we went, we went at it a little bit and then I just deleted him completely because I'm like, he's gonna get girls into believing that he can do this for them and it's just a way to make money and sell plants i've never sold anything to you guys I've never told you guys that hey you know it's super easy to get this progress just do this and this i've always told you guys it takes time it takes consistency it ain't gonna happen overnight and the faster you achieve it the faster it could be taken from you so no no shortcuts you know i mean it's pathetic this guy was like telling me oh that he's certified or not even that he was certified he's a specialist and that gets me even more pissed off. It's like, I don't care. You could be like, you could have mastered it. And just by the fact that you don't know that someone cannot build that much lean muscle in that short amount of time discredits you completely. But not only that, you probably know this and you're just a scammer, which annoys me. Um, so that got me really mad. If you see this, guys, no, it is impossible. I mean, if it took only four months, of lifting and eating at a surplus and you would get this body with absolutely no fat. Don't you think every guy would have muscle like crazy? Every girl would have reached her body goal by now if it was that easy. Don't let these people fool you. And I told him, you're probably one of those idiots that think, you know, a girl can build a butt in 30 days. It ain't gonna happen. Um, so that frustrated me. And it frustrated me more because he's putting himself, he's so high up, he knows so much, he's so knowledgeable, yet you're not at all. And that was BS. So, um, read more books? He told me to read more books. I told him either read less books or start reading the right ones because I don't know what you're, what garbage you're reading because everything he said was just complete BS. Like you don't even need to be certified 
to know this stuff. Like you could just be a fitness enthusiast. You can just be somebody who likes to work out and this is just basic knowledge. knowledge. Like you don't need a certificate saying, hey, you know, I, I have a certificate so I know this stuff. No, you don't need it. So it just, it baffled me. It got me so angry. And he's like, whatever piece you got your gains, that's all that matters. I'm like, no, 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 that's not all that matters. What matters is you're a scammer. You lie to girls, you feed them this false hope that they could build their butt in four months with a tiny itty bitty little waist. It's crazy, you know? I got really mad at him, but um, he stopped responding, well, he didn't have obviously, else because he had nothing say. else to say to me. But I wish I could just delete his account from the world. <laughs> and he cannot be on social media at all. Because it's this, this kind of stuff I need to work with. You know, a girl signs up and she's like, in six weeks, she wants what I achieved in, in two years. And it's like, it's not going to happen. You feel it too? Thank you. <laughs> It's, it's not gonna happen, you know? It, I, I get upset a little because I have to tell this girl and break her heart that sorry, six weeks is not gonna give you what I have. I've been working at it for a long time. See, here's the thing. With fat loss, you're bound to see more progress than with bulking. Bulking is much slower because most people who bulk are lean. So what they're doing is they're eating a little bit extra, just enough so that they can nourish the muscle to grow um, without putting on too much fat during the process. So this is gonna take a lot longer. It's like you're forcing your body to change its composition. It's gonna take a long time. So it just, it, it gets me when people put this idea that, oh, it's very simple, it's very simple. It is not very simple. It's gonna take time. I've worked with many girls um, and I, I, I set them up and I tell them, hey, you're gonna have to do this for at least, you know, I think three months minimum, depending where you are. If you've already bulked in the past and you just want a little bit more gains, um, three months is probably the minimum a bulk should last. It, my uh, bulking, they were it was like six months. <laughs> What, what do you want? <laughs> it was like six months minimum. Uh, some I did a, a little bit longer because my body was a bit more stubborn. My metabolism is fast. I'm taller. I started at 14% body fat. So in like the first couple months, I was pretty much just putting on some healthy, um, healthy size, you know? So it didn't even go towards my gains. It was just, oh, you got healthier. You know, you're not at 14% body fat anymore. So it takes time, you know? And this is what I try to teach people. It takes time. Be patient, consistent and you'll get to your goals. Anyways, hope you guys learned a thing or two. Don't be fooled by these scam trainers who are doing anything for a pretty penny. Um, I just wanted to talk about it because I really got aggravated and it kind of helps me vent it out but also warn you guys about it. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Ow, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications and until tomorrow, bye guys. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye.